so economics come into it in a, in a big way. Um, the cost of new cancer drugs uh, has gone up dramatically and that trend is likely to uh, increase uh, dramatically. Uh, I think the, the average monthly cost in the last decade for a new drug uh, is over uh, 5,000 US dollars. That's a monthly cost. By 2035, that cost is project projected to be $100,000. That's per month. The opportunity for supportive cancer care is if we come up with ways to effectively deal with the incremental cost of toxicities, how much does it cost to hospitalize a patient because they have bad gut toxicity or mouth toxicity or whatever, and can prevent that toxicity, uh, that becomes a real cost benefit in, in, in treatment. Uh, I, I think it's, it's really uh, something that uh, which it, people have set an objective to and are, are dealing with. The cost of supportive cancer care is not, uh, is not minimal. So the overall ca cost of cancer uh, is about $32 billion. Uh, $32 billion. Uh, for cancer drugs, not hospitals, not anything else. The cost for supportive cancer care therapies is about $11 billion. So it's not a, it's not a uh, uh, you know, an incidental cost, it's a real significant uh, cost. We live in a world of evolving technologies. And it's like everybody has to have the new iPhone or everybody has to have the, the incremental gain for, the, for that new technology or for the new drugs uh, may be minimal. Your, your old Blackberry might work fine if all you do is use it, you know, is, is use it for a telephone. You don't need to spend more for that. Likewise, if uh, for cancer therapy, the incremental gain in life years uh, is uh, not significant. So I have a new cancer drug, and if I give it to you, there's a toxicity profile and a cost profile, and all you get out of it is three more or four more months of life. You might say, you know what, it's not worth the cost, I would rather have a good quality of life, minimal toxicity, uh, to you know, for the for the same end. I think the drug, the typically the the drug, uh, the drugs the, that originally come out are the most aggressive, and then what happens is they come out for a specific indication, and then they sort of broaden their use. And as they broaden, as they as you broaden the denominator, uh, and the numerator is fixed, the cost per treatment goes down. And I think, you know, that accountability of cost benefit, um, you know, is going to be incumbent. Uh, you know, third party payers, patients paying out of pocket expense are going to look for sort of best buy overall.